Hello, Algebra 1. This is homework help for tonight. Page 606, numbers 2 through 18, evens. That's at the top of the page of this introductory section. Let's take a look at problem number 6. Number 6 says, I have 3x squared minus 17x minus 6. It's a matching section. What I'm going to do is actually solve this problem for you so you know what the answer is. MN is 3 and PQ is negative 6. Pay close attention. This negative sign goes with the 6. And this positive 3 is our MN. We need to find out what B is, and we'll have to come up with some values that equal um, MN, some factors. So factors of 3 are just 1 and 3. That's it. And it's a positive 3 at that. For PQ, there's 1 and negative 6. There's negative 1 and 6. There's 2 and 3. Um, 2 and negative 3, excuse me. And then there's negative 2 and positive 3. Now we said we need to come up with some trials um, of different pairs. Well, we know for sure it's going to be an x and a 3x because that's the only combination that gets us a positive 3 for our mn. Now let's plug in some pqs. Um, taking a look at this b term, b is negative 17. Okay, If it's negative 17, that means I'm going to have a really large number. That means I'm going to want to multiply by large numbers. I know that 3 and 2 are larger than 1 and 6, but I do know I have to multiply eventually by a 6. So let's try x and 3x and 6. Let me undo that. 6 and negative 1. I also have the other situation where it's negative 6 and positive 1. Okay. When I oi this first one, I get positive 18x minus 1x. And that gives me a 17x. It's positive. I want negative. So let's take a look at the second one where I have 1x minus 18x, and that gives me my negative 17x. There's a whole lot of different combinations in here. I didn't even try the 2 and the 3 yet, uh, but I came up with the correct answer already. So the answer here is x minus 6 times 3x plus 1. Um, looking at your answers, that would be answer B.